this the identity you've demanded from your hockey club all season, Randy? And maybe have you seen it the last three games consecutively? Well, they're better efforts, that's for sure. And uh, uh, we've raised our compete level. And we're going to have to continue to do that to get points. And uh, that's the, the, the most uh, frustrating part for our hockey club has been that we haven't been able to achieve that uh, with any consistency for, and here we are at 45 games or 46 games. Yeah, well, they're flying by, <laughs> you know, and that's fr frustrating for the coaching staff for sure. Is there added significance in winning in this type of building, that type of game? Well, it always, you know, it hopefully it bleeds some of the demons out of us, you know, that we can come in and, and you know, uh, have success in any building. That's it's not just specifically to be a good team, to be a playoff team, to be a, a team that's going to challenge and, and that. You have to win on the road. You have to be able to win. Your team seemed far more engaged this game than, than recently. Part of that might have been your uh, your line matching, getting Kessel away from Chara, moving things around. Uh, your motivation there is the same as always, kind of? Well, we just felt, you know, and then, and then you have a choice. Uh, you know, if uh, if uh, Bozak was, was going to play with... Uh, Lupel and, and Van Riemsdyk, then they were going to either have to choose that did they want Char on the ice or did they want somebody else. So if they want to play Char against Phil, then we'll put him with Kadri, and then we have a another formidable offensive line that we think can provide offense. But again, it's it's all about the players going out and getting the job done themselves. It's not so much uh, the coaching staff; it's more about what they do and when they do it, and how often and how consistent they are with it. What was the view like from the bench with the, in the last minute there with guys a blocking hairy. shots? And the... A little hairy because they got caught out and they were tired. And then they pulled the goalie. But in the end, we, you know, they blocked some shots and we made some key plays. I think Bozak made the big key play in front of the net. They had a wide open back door and I think he got back and made that play. And Gleason blocked two big shots. You know, and I thought Van Riemsdyk had the opportunity to score in the empty net. One more step. I don't think he realized that he was away from their player. That I don't know who it was, if it was Miller or Boychuk. Somebody dove at him. If he'd have taken one more step, he was home free. It was a regular season game, but there was a real playoff feel to it. Yeah, well, the games are intense, and obviously, you know, points are at a premium, and we're a desperate hockey club, and, you know, they had come off the West Coast trip where they won one nothing in San Jose, which they played a real big game there, and... You know, obviously, the, the way the race is and how tight it is, points are at a premium, and people are going to be expected to give you 110 plus. Well, JVR took a big hit with about five minutes left. Was he any worse for no, that? No, he was fine. He said he would know. The only reason he came off the ice, he lost his glove. So they, that was the only thing. What made you move Jake onto that first power play? Uh, actually, it was Dave Ferris that did that. It was a friend. He said he wasn't uh, didn't feel good and wasn't he was struggling. And he said we're going to move Jake into that position. And tonight the power play delivered big time. To what degree are you guys fighting the flu? Lots. There's lots of people that are down. Uh, Colton Orr came to the rink and uh, he w we sent him back to, with sweats and chills and vomiting. And we've had Clarkson had that last night. Uh, we've had up to eight players go through that in the last three days. So hopefully it doesn't get the coaching staff or the media. Have you been okay so far? <laughs> yeah, I've been okay. Are you really hoping not? <laughs> yeah, I, I, you can take that for whatever it's worth. <laughs>